Workspaces allows EFT users to easily share the contents of folders with others, both within and outside of the organization in a secure, managed environment, all without the need for admin involvement. While Workspaces is designed to free up IT resources by directly enabling user-to-user -user sharing and collaboration, the feature is fully configurable at the administrator level and adheres to the same high standards in security, scalability, reliability, and performance customers have come to expect from EFT Server. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. Workspaces configuration occurs at the site level. So to get started, we'll select the site we want to work on and enable the feature in the Workspaces tab. The default configuration allows EFT users to share folders with collaborators who don't currently have an EFT account by enabling new user self-provisioning via a secure registration process. This ability to facilitate the new user registration process is a privilege enjoyed strictly by first-generation EFT users, meaning that externally provisioned users won't themselves have the ability to invite new users to the system as collaborators. Admins who wish to impose a more controlled sharing policy can do so by selecting the option to limit the scope of collaboration to existing EFT users. For the sake of this demonstration, we'll allow sharing with new users. From the EFT user's perspective, workspaces are created and administered via EFT's web transfer client. Folder sharing can be initiated from within the directory listing itself via the file menu or from the folder's parent directory via the content in file menus. We're going to share this folder with a new user. Based on the address we provide, EFT will generate an email invitation with instructions to register for a user account. We'll visit this part of the process in a moment. Having shared the folder, the workspace owner can add new participants to the workspace, edit participant permissions, remove participants, or stop sharing the folder altogether. Back in the EFT user interface, Workspaces can be reviewed and managed under the VFS tab. From here, administrators can add or remove participants, edit permissions, and view details such as the workspace owner and the folder's physical path. Earlier, we invited a new user to collaborate in the workspace. Here, we see that the collaborator is in a pending state, which means they haven't yet accepted the invitation. Let's take a look at the registration process from the perspective of the workspace participant. The invitation email provides a link to the Web Transfer Client registration page. This email template is editable in the EFT Admin User Interface. The two-step registration process requires the user to verify the account prior to gaining access to the system. Once the account has been verified by EFT, the workspace participant is directed to the Web Transfer Client login page. The workspace is displayed under the Joined Workspaces folder tree. The workspace participant can now collaborate with the workspace owner by uploading and downloading files to and from the folder. As a fully integrated EFT component, Workspaces works hand-in-hand -hand with the rich set of governance and security features EFT users have come to expect, including support for multiple authentication protocols, event role workflow automation, and audit-friendly activity reporting, giving IT administrators the control they need while empowering end-users with a simple, powerful, and effective data-sharing solution. To learn more about EFT Workspaces, please visit our website or contact us for a more detailed demonstration.